Up and then we're gonna start. That was okay. Okay, guys, we're ready to start. Hmm. All right, let me just um, enter my password here. We are. I don't know why the sound is off. Let me turn it back on. Yeah, we're uh, we're playing some chill, lucent heart today. So <laughs> this this is gonna be fun. So this is our character that we're playing as today. And um, I'm showing off a class that's kind of hidden in the game. Now, um, we're, we're, we're gonna come back here in a minute, but... Let me show you why this class is, um, so difficult for 90% of players to find. Uh, can y'all see everything okay, by the way? Does it look good? Does it sound good? <coughs> mm. All right. I never know what to talk about on these MMO streams, so... So normally at the start of the game, there's, uh... 
gotta go back to the to Theral first, but oh, one second. Chan got a sneak peek at this um, yesterday, but hello. <laughs> I don't know why, but this music really reminds me of music from the PlayStation. <laughs> So, um... Here's the reason why the Phantom Warlock class is so head. Now, normally at the start of the game, you, um, go through a tutorial quest line where you... where you, um, talk to some NPCs and you choose your class. Oh, hello! <laughs> that sounds kind of delicious! <laughs> Normally you would talk to this NPC to um, choose between being a mage or a knight. However, um, if you go over here, there's an NPC That's what Quartz does. She uh, <laughs> she likes to um, use a random food generator in the chat. It, it's all right. She's <laughs> she doesn't bother me. She's a friend of mine. Anyway, I'm um, oh got a little we got a little lag, but. Um, you cannot accept this quest if you've already accepted the Major Knight quest, but if you talk to this guy at the beginning of the game, he'll have a quest to become the Phantom Warlock class. And that is how you get it. It's incredibly hidden. Because you wouldn't think to just talk, go back to this guy and talk to him. Is this someone's pet? I think this might be someone's pet. Hey table. I think I saw Mechan in the um in the user list, but she hasn't she hasn't said anything in the chat. Talking green onion boy. <laughs> Her shield is floating. <laughs> Yo, this girl's shield. <laughs> Ooh, it's she's making it hover with magic. <gasps> That's how it works. <laughs> anyway, uh <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm um, tampering with forbidden territory because I I don't think the Phantom Warlock class was supposed to be in the game. Like, I, I think...
Yeah, she has like a floating shield or like a magic shield spell. Oh! <laughs> there you are, Mitchin. I thought you were busy, so you were just being quiet is all. Uh, I've never seen that little... It's okay, it's okay. You're here now. <laughs> I was just telling people how to um access the Phantom Warlock class. I can't do it now because I'm at because I'm like way past the beginning of the game and I'm already Ah, uh, running on air. Did you find the food generator too? <laughs> coming up with your own, cause... <laughs> it, it's, it's fine. You guys can do that kind of stuff as long as you're not being hateful to each other. <laughs> Even I'm a Meeve. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Be nice, table. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like being mean to my chat. Right, so, let me show you what kind of stuff the Phantom Warlock can do. <clears throat> Oh, that's not true. I don't know. I've... I've liked being your friend. Uh, I, know I, I know I don't talk much anymore, but... I still like being your friend. And this... Okay. So... This is what we do as the Phantom Warlock class. You have the power to turn into various monsters and use their skills. Yep. Oh, we got stunned. I have a bad habit of button mashing in MMO is what I'm not supposed to. Oh yeah, also, when I go out of the transformation, watch this. Oh, oh those are the items that I picked up. Those are items. Yeah, let me kill this bear, and from him, we will get... A Zodiac Zone, and two quest items. Mm. Spicy watermelon noodles. I might like that. I like international candy. Okay, and um, I'm gonna show off a quick feature of Lucent Heart. Yes, the game does have a cash shop, say what you want about that. But, let me show you. If I get attacked while I'm in this. Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, you see that message that popped up? Uh. It does that because I am um, 38 power go. I need to heal. Yeah. I'd embrace it depending on the type of roleplay it was. Like, I'm gonna be honest, the um, overly sexual roleplay makes me uncomfortable. Oh, that would be fun. I am. Um, I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> The whole reason I choose this dog avatar for myself is I love playing characters. couple system in the game and uh, some of the interactions are incredibly romantic. <laughs> like the couple system is mostly just for buffs but yeah. <laughs> it, it has some interactions that could be considered romantic so. in Toontown don't meow unless they try to swear it's not there are forums and other games specifically designed for warrior cats roleplay saying is there is a place for everything and you know it's very true yes a long time ago I used to be involved in in that community <laughs> and um I I had to of uh, I, I came up with- I had to come up with a realistic looking cat character and I had to, um, explain what, like, a star marking on a cat was. Where they have, like, a little- a little splotch of color on their forehead that kind of looks like a star. And sometimes it goes down to the snoot. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no, like a fur pattern! <laughs> it, it, it's called a- it's called a star because, um, it's kind of shaped like a four-pointed, like, little sparkly star. <laughs> oh. 
what, what some people would think of as a star. Yeah, yeah, the, the white triangle marking. Except it's more like a diamond shape? And sometimes the bottom point can extend down so they have a white snoot too. Oh. I clicked out of the game one second. Yeah, um, the game has a feature where it, it mutes itself if you click out of it, so... Do I have any... Oh, that's... I don't have any... <coughs> I don't have any, um... <coughs> I don't have any healing potions, so... I gotta do this. I know. There's a place for that kind of thing, you guys. Some people make videos where, where you specifically... <coughs> Some people make videos just for role-playing in the comments. Which... I don't have anything against unless people are like being terrible to other people. <laughs> Head pets for Susumu. You, you know what? You know what we can do? Let me show you something magical, guys. Thank you for the head pets. <laughs> Travel faster if I. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of running around in this game. There's some other, um. <coughs> there's other creatures that we can transform into as a phantom warlock, but I, I'm not- I'm only level 17, so I haven't unlocked those- those other transformations yet. So, um, for now I get two transformations, um, the other one turns you into a more melee-focused creature, the Seraph Knight. I'm just going to show off what that looks like real quick. Yeah, we, we get more melee focus skills with this transformation. 
But me, I'm a magic user, so... Of course I prefer the more magic-focused one. <laughs> get some dog pogs in the chat uh, and while we do that I'm gonna look up some dog facts for ya cause I've been slacking on that The largest breed of dog is the Great Dane. They may be extremely large and strong, but the Great Dane is known as a gentle giant because of its calm and loving disposition. <laughs> uh, you mean the character in the game? Cause, <laughs> yeah, uh, let me just, there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, puppies are actually born with their ears and eyes sealed shut. This is because they are still developing and, um, they will open up once they're developed enough to be able for them to at least see a little bit. Uh, the eyes at that point are still underdeveloped, which is why they look so dark and why dogs, why puppies tend to look very wall-eyed <laughs> much of the time. It's because their eyes are still developing. Ah, yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's a good segue, um, into a fact about a famous cartoon dog. Um, Scooby-Doo was actually meant to be a Great Dane. The person who designed him actually spoke to a Great Dane breeder about what traits Great Dane should have and made Scooby the exact opposite of all of those traits. So, yeah, there's some indication Scooby may not be a purebred Great Dane. <laughs> And here's one that'll be rather heartwarming. Dogs actually don't hate cats. The reason they chase after cats and stuff is because they just move after anything that's like small and fast. Like a cat. So it's not that they hate the cats and want to hurt it. Actually, Cats and dogs can be very good friends if they grew up together. It's just that they notice the way the cat moves and they think it's something fun to chase. Anyway, there's your four dog facts for $20. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they just don't know how to respond to each other. But while we're here, <laughs> we're going to do one of my
my favorite events in the game. Dance Master. Let me show you what that is. Oh, crap. Okay, I did it. Cats would always run away from me when I was a kid because I didn't know how to handle them. I thought you could handle a cat like you could a dog, but no. Nowadays I know how to treat cats and... Orin and I are good buddies. I think Neil and I are too. Not very good at this mini game, but yeah, for some reason, dogs really like me. strong policy of never hurt the pets. Percent is not a bad score at all. I think the enemy we're looking for um, is only out during the day, so... I don't want to go over there. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder, like, what, what, what it is. Yeah, fair point. We are not... We are not dealing with the giant bees. I actually have a bit of a funny story that happened recently. Um, there was some... Um, a few days ago I saw a moth sitting on my, my shelf and I thought it was dead. Thought it was dead, so I was gonna I was gonna clean it up. But um a few nights ago I saw that same moth exiting my room. So yeah. That moth wasn't dead. <laughs> Alright, we need to go heal. This w this won't hurt us. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting. B is the key to open the bag in another game I play. That's why I keep pressing B. Um. Y y you can't. So we have to sit down and heal for a minute, so... I suppose I could take this time to talk about how I would improve Lucent Heart. Um, if I had the chance to remake it. Cause, um, as much as I love this game, I'd keep the graphics and music the same. <clears throat> I keep this the graphics and music all the same. Um But I'd make healing potions more readily available and speed up the natural HP regen. Cuz look at this. This is just too slow. Yeah, I guess I guess the moth was just asleep because it was daylight when I first saw it sitting on my my dresser. <laughs> to find, I guess it wanted to find a spot where it wouldn't be disturbed to sleep, you know. <laughs> As um free animal fact for y'all, many types of moths are nocturnal, as you probably guess. Anyway, um, I'd make the natural HP regen faster, and I'd make healing potions more readily available because they're extremely hard to come by, uh, normally. What else would I add? Um, oh, re-add the Astral Village, because apparently that was a um a very early game. Like the very you weren't originally you weren't supposed to go to Theral first. You were supposed to go to the Astral Village and do stuff there first. But that was completely removed from the game, although it is still in the files somewhere. Um, I'd also rearrange which zodiac signs are best for which classes. I'm totally not salty about the whole moon flame envoy thing, guys. <laughs> you 
Yeah, um, as much as I love the um, zodiac sign system in this game, it also ties to which class you function best as. And no hate towards healer classes, but I don't. I, I, uh, I want to be a magic user. I want to. <clears throat> I want to just rain fire on everything. I don't want to be a solo healer with no team. That's. <laughs> Died. Yeah, I don't like the effect this game has when you die. On the plus side, you don't lose EXP when you die. Yeah, just maybe, maybe don't make certain zodiac signs better for certain classes. I'm just saying, game. Alright, well. We're getting close to the end of the stream, so. Let me just log into my. Um, totally not. My, my, my. I totally don't have two accounts to play this game, so let me just um, switch characters. Wink, wink. Oh! Enjoy your pizza, Brick Rock. Lines from a movie from the movies and the weirdest accent I can do. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Everyone betray me, I am fed up with this world. <laughs> oh god, I'm not trying to be offensive, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hit her. It is bullshit. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> uh, somebody want to clip that? Uh, if you want to clip that, feel free. Let me get the game back up. <laughs> There we go. Just, just, just me trying to do my best Tommy Wiseau impression. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, the moment I've been um, the moment I've been um, hinting at this whole time, I've got some custom songs I'm gonna dance to for you guys. I've got two of them, in fact. So. I'm going to mute myself and we're going to sit back and watch.
We're not done quite yet. I've got a second one, too. And that's it! Those are the custom dances I made! <laughs> Fun fact about that last song, <laughs> The proper title in Japanese is um, Haniwa no Techno. <laughs> and of course... Y'all know I have to do this one. Y'all know I do. This is my favorite default song in the game. So let's go again.
Well, guys, um, I hate to cut the stream short, but, um, it looks like it's time for me to go eat dinner. So, I just want to announce, real quick, new stream schedule. On Mondays, I'm going to be streaming Jackbox, and then on Fridays, it's going to be whatever I want it to be. So, yeah. Just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm glad I got to show you guys my custom dances. I might make more in the future. But for now, <laughs> later guys.